Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here with a wig review for you. I am going to be showing you Aesthetica Sage in the color 3028, actually R 302826. So if you are in the market for a really cute chin length bob with a little bit of wave and sass, uh, then stick around for this video because I'm going to tell you all about Sage. Alright, Sage is a cute and sassy chin length bob with some long layers that are broken up into a little bit of a deconstructive wave. It's very, very cute and sassy and not too polished. So let me show you Sage from all sides. admit sage wasn't really on my radar and I uh, got this one from a wig sister and immediately fell in love with it really not sure why it wasn't on my radar because this length and this kind of a, a wavy bob style is right up my alley one of my favorite styles so before we talk too much about sage I'd like to show you this color and I will get outside with this color at the end of the video so you can stick around till the end or skip ahead to find the rest of the color on this but this color R302826 is a really pretty strawberry blonde it has all of the kind of auburn and strawberry blonde shades. A 30 is a medium auburn, a 26 is a strawberry blonde, and so the 28 is in kind of a light auburn. So you really just have a lot of fun red. This I think would be great for a natural redhead who sort of leans more toward the blonde spectrum of the kind of hair color spectrum and then it does not have a root now i will tell you this color does come in a rooted version and for me personally i really really like the rooted version of this partly because i am a natural dark brunette and sometimes you can see a little bit of my hairline poking through and so it doesn't blend as well but when i have the rooted version on it blends fantastic so if you're not so sure if this is the right color for you you might want to check out that rooted version I do have a, a review of ocean in the rooted version of this color so you can go check that out so our 30 28 26 such a beautiful color all right let's talk about sage sage has a lace fr a lace front has a mono part I'll take the wig off in just a second so you can see all of that and it also has a fair amount of permatease. There is permatease all on the top of sage, kind of all around. When I touch the hair, I can feel permatease just all over the cap, just sort of everywhere. Let me take her off for you and show you this cap, and then I can talk a little bit more about that permatease. So, like I said, let me get up here so you can see it. There we are with our lace front and our mono part. You've got a whole bunch of permatease right here. You've got the uh, adjustable ear tabs, extended open nape, and hook adjusters. That's real typical for Aesthetica wigs. This is a pretty standard Aesthetica style. So um, when I'm going to show you here, this is not visible permatease. I just moved the hair to the side so you can see one of the wefts here. That all of that crimpy looking fiber that's all permatease. So sage definitely has a good amount of permatease. Not visible permatease. So uh, one of the things I'll just say about that is I think it really helps the style. Uh, it makes it so that there is a little bit of volume. Um, you know, with a wavy style, you like to have a little bit of lift from the cap so the waves can kind of come out. 
And so that is what the Permatees does with this one. It lifts it all up off the cap and gives it some beautiful volume. As if you took a round brush to your hair and you round brushed it with a uh, hair dryer to get achieve that voluminous look. Just really adorable. I am loving Sage a lot. So the lace front here is excellent. Aesthetica does really good lace fronts and with this light of a color and no rooting, it's really seamless. One thing about Aesthetica wigs though, I believe, I feel you can see the lace itself on me pretty well, especially when I adhere my wigs with its stays. So I am going to do a part two of this video where I take Sage and I customize her a little bit to make her my own. So if you would like to see that, then please stay tuned for part two. I will be trimming the lace. I will be plucking the part to give myself just a little bit more of a defined part line. I will also be adding just a little bit of rooting to it with a marker so that it does have a little bit more dimension up here and blends with my bio hair. So if you are curious about any of that, please stick around. So here is where you can see my bio hair. And that's real typical. The coverage on Aesthetica is average, I would say, on me. The ear tabs come right about, let me make sure it's all situated. The ear tab comes right there. The top of my ear is here. The ear tab is here. For better coverage for me, I would like to see the ear tab come down just a little bit. Uh, Noriko coverage on me is really good. Those ear tabs do come a little down and forward of my ears and that gives me a little bit better coverage. I would also say that typically Aesthetica runs a little big on me and I get some extra cap up here and I also typically have to tighten Aesthetica wigs. This one feels like it's running just a little bit smaller than typical. I do not know if it's just the piece that I have or if that is common with Sage. So all I can do is just mention what I have going on with the piece that I have. And this one does feel a little bit snug on me. So what I'm doing now is I was just trying to show you a couple of different ways that you can play with the hair. If you just kind of run your hands through it, I'm holding the lace down so it doesn't pull it off my head. You can get a little lift in that front and you can give it a, a little bit of a different look or you can bring it more um, down and more forward so you don't have quite as much of that lift. I think there's a lot of styling options with this one. You can use clips, you can use bobby pins, just a really, really cute style. Uh, the fibers are great. They're, um, you know, a little bit on the drier side. Aesthetica fibers tend to be a little bit on the drier side. I think that gives it um, a realism. And so I don't find it to be super shiny. I just find it to be really natural looking. All right, let's get outside so that you can see this color outside. I do not have an out of the box of this one because I did get it from a wig sister. But, uh, you know, she came to me looking great. I think this one is going to be pretty low maintenance, just doing some shaking out, maybe hanging upside down to wake up the permatease a little bit. But overall, I really think this will be an easy one to wear. If you have any questions about Sage, let me know. She is, like I said, has permatease. And you know, she's a moderate hair density. She's not super heavy hair density. It does feel like a realistic amount of hair. All right, let's get outside. If you like this video, please show the love by clicking the like button and subscribing if you wanna see more content from me. I am going to be doing some new things coming up, lots and lots of tips and tutorials. So hopefully you'll stick around for those. Hey everyone, here we are outside with our 3028 26 by Aesthetica. Such a really beautiful, kind of a true red. It's not fire engine red, it's not kind of auburn. Even though the colors are auburn colors, it reminds me of my daughter's hair, my stepdaughter's hair. And, the, and her hair is red. It doesn't have a root. There is a rooted version that I have ocean in kind of prefer the rooted version for me, but I'm really actually loving this color. It's super light, sort of like a strawberry blonde. Whereas the rooted version takes on a little bit more of a darker 
tone. So with the, you know, the 30 being a medium auburn, 28 is kind of a strawberry blonde, a 26 is starting to get into some of the blondish colors, like a kind of golden blonde. It's definitely on the light side. Hope that helped you guys. Thanks for watching.